Welcome to another edition of Chicago Huddle here at uh, Chili's and Vernon Hills. I am Dan Jiggins alongside Bears wide receiver Marquise Wilson. Marquise, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, you know what? Hey, let me tell you something, man. You guys gave Bear fans a real thrill on Thanksgiving night with the, that brow beating that you gave the Green Bay Packers. We had hey, to. Let's talk about that. You guys go up there and beat them 17 13, cold, rainy conditions, just the worst conditions maybe possible. On Brett Favre night, too. It was just a beautiful thing, man. Definitely. Uh, we felt like um, it was it was kind of disrespectful. Uh, uh, we we said it was their homecoming. So, you know, what, what's better than beat somebody on their homecoming game? It, it doesn't get any better than that, does <laughs> exactly. it? Exactly. Well, you know what? It, it, it's on a quick turnaround, too. I think that's what surprised everybody. You're coming off the Bronco game. Quick turnaround into this one. Another tough ball game for you. And you guys uh, were ready to go. Yeah, uh, we, we just kept, went into the week um, with our minds right. You know, we knew we had to, to rest and, and, and be focused on this game. So after the Broncos game, we had to let it go quick and, and get our minds ready for a Green Bay. Now, the last couple of weeks have proven pretty solid for you, too. A nice uh, ball game against the Broncos. Uh, then come back with four receptions of 44 yards. What everybody thought should have been a touchdown in the game against the Packers. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me real quick about what happened on that play. Oh, man, I was just amazed at catching the ball in that rain. Um, and and uh, when I turned around, I didn't see anybody in front of me, so I was kind of in shock. So I didn't really run right, right away. And once I did start get going, it was kind of too late. Yeah. But, <laughs> I mean, I tried playing it off like I scored, but I knew deep down inside I didn't. Well, you know, I tell you what, Jay had a really nice night throwing the football and, and, and executing the offense. There's been a, a, a marked difference between this year and last year for him. Uh, can you put your finger on, on why this is all coming about? Uh, just, you know, the coaching staff and the guys, you know, always we're we're always fighting for each other. You know, we have each other's back, and, and I feel like that's a big difference from last year. Uh, we're just playing for one another, and, and the leadership on this team has grown. And, you know, and in doing all of that, uh, you guys got Matt Forte back and Alshon Jeffrey back in the same game. And that's, you know, and, and I know Martellus wasn't there, but, man, those two guys coming back, seem to really help out a lot. Definitely. I mean, um, th those two guys are big uh, key point parts in our uh, offense. Um, Matt, you know, he, he's our tough running back. You know, he's going to give us his all. And Alshon is just our playmaker. And, and you can't really single out one guy. You know, uh, you have to worry about our whole team when they're all out there. Even Mark Mariani. Mark comes through <laughs> with three big uh, third down catches. Definitely. Uh, Mark stepped up big. You know, uh, when we needed that play, Mark was the guy, kind of the guy that, that Jay trusted, and, and I mean, when Jay trusts you, you got to make that play. And, and Mark's fully capable of doing that day in and day out. Did the Packers say anything to him when he was making these big plays? Like, who's this guy that was, was one of these deals? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. But Mark, Mark was kind of – Mark's a fired-up guy on that field uh, when he makes a play. So, he, like, I tried celebrating with him after he made one third-down catch. There was no celebration. He wouldn't have any of it. No. Right. <laughs> All right, Marquis, let's talk uh, about uh, this uh, game coming up against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, you guys saw them last year early in the year and gave them a beating. Uh, they went on average actually to turn out to be a – a fairly decent football team for the last couple of years. Now they got rid of everybody, the head coaches, you name it, they got rid of them. Uh, and, and they are a very different team. They're right now they're 3-8, they're and eight, they're struggling. Um, but it looks like they may be coming around just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can't really look at records in this league. Uh, I mean, every guy goes into every game differently uh, with a different mindset. And who knows, they, they might try and give us their all, you know, and, and we can't look down on them just because of their record. So we got to be ready for anything. Well, you know, when you look at the, the Niners now, the, obviously Colin, Colin Kaepernick, not the starting quarterback for them any longer. Blaine Gabbert's starting quarterback. Lots of changes in personnel. Um, what is it about this team the other day? Actually came and played the Cardinals pretty tough. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, they They – I guess it, it doesn't really have anything to do with quarterback situation. It's just it's just how guys play, you know, just the, the trust in each other, and and maybe they just want to fight a little harder for this guy, you know. They 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 want to put more work in, but I mean, like I said, we can't overlook them. On Sunday, you get to go to Soldier Field and face the 49ers, and and it looks like this is shaping up to be one of those seasons where it's coming down the stretch. You guys take care of your business. And that's the only thing you have to worry about. Take care of your business and start winning out and good things will happen for you. Uh, definitely. I mean, we all have that mindset, you know, uh, like I said, one game at a time, but we all know what's at stake and we all know what we have to do. Uh, and, and we just want to win every single game we can. 
from here on out. And, and I feel like we just got over a hump right now, mm -hmm. and, and we got to keep this ball rolling. Uh, okay, last of the five games, give me an idea how you see them unfolding. Uh, I mean, if we handle business, you know, we do what we have to do, and, and we know we do what we know we can do. It, it should be it should turn out how we uh, all plan it to. So I mean, that, that's that's what, what we're gonna do all week. Marquise, the 49ers have not run a road game since November 16th of 2014. They're 0 and 5 on the road and 3 and 3 at home. Uh, and players say that they, you know they can tune out certain things. That's something that's pretty tough to tune out though. Uh, when it's loud, yeah. I mean, uh, that's always tough going into to someone else's home and, and expecting or saying that you could tune them out. And then when it actually happens, you can't.